Hi Leo, Mary Ann from Revealing Light Tarot. How are you? Wherever you are in the world when you're watching this, a huge shout out to you, Leo. Uh, I want to look at your uh, sun sign, rising sign. If your moon is in Leo, this reading could be for you. It is a general reading, so um, please, uh, if, if, if it resonates with you, claim it. If not, move on, come back to it. Uh, and have a listen to it later on. Use your own intuition when you're interpreting uh, the information or the channeling that's coming through during these um, during these readings. As always, uh, you are your best guide. I can only just stimulate, give you a flash of insight that will take things further. Okay, or that can take things further, if you choose. All right, Leo if you choose i don't know why i said that uh anyway if you choose what's coming up this is my revealing light oracle um which information is on my website i'm then going to be using the new mythic tarot and finishing with the journey of love okay leo what's happening with you leo leo okay so feeling you know it's like you have to stand guard uh, could be around uh, defending yourself. Um, I don't know whether it's other people that are that are taking things away from you. I, I just don't know. There's something. It's like the five of wands energy. Um, but we'll drill down on this in the when I get to the tarot. What's happening for Leo, please? For Leo's highest good. Okay, make it happen. This is about work. You know, or I think Aries was did Aries get this? Uh, what do you love to do? That is the essential question you've got to ask yourself, because Leos do like to be amongst people, um, and whether you're uh, in the workforce or not, um, we don't just stop doing things. Um, do what you love and love what you do. This is self-expression and confidence will come as a result of that. This is Mars energy driving things forward. There is an accent on relationships for you. The sum of us. You are strongest when you are in sync with others. Not when you're fighting against them. When you are walking side by side with them. This is Venus energy. Uh, how are your relationships going? At this time, Leo, what do you need to remember that? Because again, Leo, um, you know, this this base chakra, Leo can walk into a room and uh, and be the life, the life of the room there to motivate others. Um, I feel this is around your base and your sacral chakra. Uh, OK, yeah, it definitely is the willpower card. Right use of will leads to prosperity prosperity equally stubbornness stops progress i said this is the base and the sh sacral chakra this is around our security in the world in ourselves in our world it could be addressing questions around self-worth it could be addressing questions around you know the why of things why isn't something happening it's because you need to put your willpower there um and it could be uh change may have thrown this Uranus energy may have thrown you in a bit of a loop but it's time to get literally get back on the horse <laughs> now <laughs> put the shoulder to the wheel uh, and move forward you're going to do it but you need to do it through sheer will not through evasion or you know or blaming somebody else this is about uh, not being stubborn because Leo's can be stubborn it's about expansion. It's about dropping down into that heart chakra. Uh, again, self-expression, creativity. Leo rules that fifth house. The polarity to that is the 11th house of groups, friends, networks. You've got a role to play, Leo. If you've been stepping back, it's time to step forward in whatever way that resonates with you in a group activity, in work, in involvement, in a family endeavour or a community endeavour, whatever this is, Leo, you have to really roll your sleeves up and get to work. Now, we've got at the base of the pack intuition Pisces. What's your intuition telling you? Um, particularly about love. Um, 
these were similar cards to the other fire signs. So something around using your intuition uh, to guide you through this situation. Really deep intuition around self-worth matters as well. Okay, so if you're doubting yourself, the way not to doubt yourself is to get to work on whatever it is you need to get to work on. Generate that. And you'll be you'll be generating th the universe to respond. Okay, so let's drill down the new mythic tarot for Leo. Leo in November. What is Leo? What are the messages that Leo needs to hear, Spirit? What are the issues, challenges, wins? What's happening, please, for Leo in November? What's happening for Leo in November? Okay, we've got the star. Don't lose hope. If you're, you know, some Leos are, are, are not, you know, everything's going fine for them. But for other Leos, they could have hit some snags lately. Don't lose hope. This is what that's saying. Keep optimistic about the future. The two of wands, things are happening for you. The two of wands are two weeks even. Um, you've got something coming to fruition. What lovely cards. You've got something coming to fruition, so be patient. Do the work and be patient. Queen of Pentacles, stability, everything you need, money coming through the door. So if you're a Leo who's out of work or doing it tough, thing financially things are going to start to stabilise. The Nine of Pentacles in the past, you've had luck. You know, you could have even had a sum of money come to you, but that's in the past now. You're also really wanting your freedom and part of that freedom uh, comes with financial liquidity, financial security, justice in the sky. What was taken away is given back to you. This is Libra energy. Uh, what was impossible is now possible. That is what's crowning this reading. Ten of Wands in the immediate future. Now, the Two of Wands says uh, in time something's coming to fruition two weeks, two months, uh, but in the near future, we've got the Ten of Wands. You've got to finish up this whole cycle. Um, you know, the pandemic and, and everything that it represents has been tough on everybody for multitudinal, multitudinal reasons, um, but it is the ending of a cycle. It's like things were out of your control. Things got tough. Uh, you, the boat hit the hit the uh, the desert, not the water. Um, and your usual inspiration, fire energy, kind of became dim, dimmed. Seven of Pentacles. It's time to review. It's time to find out what will work. If Plan A didn't work, you've got to go to Plan B. The Ten of Cups, we've got family card. This is um, loving energy. If things aren't working out, you need to review. If things aren't working out in your close relationships, you need to do this review. What do you need? What do you need to kickstart, restart some issue or some situation in your life? Here is the Seven of Swords. I knew this card would come up. It's in the hopes and fears. Somebody lying to you. Somebody that's deceived you uh, and has set you back. It's set you back, but it's only a, a fear. And fears contract us. Fears don't expand us. It's time to expand. And guess what? <laughs> that's exactly what's going to happen, the chariot. Uh, remember the willpower cards? The uh, person was pushing the ox in the field, working hard, but to me, this suggests that something is going to come forward very quickly. This person's in the chariot. Um, yeah, gosh, here we go. Here's your energy, the sun card. Wow, things are turning around for you in November. <clears throat> Where are we now? We're in October. So even by the first, second week in November, <clears throat> something is turning around. Uh, the Five of Swords. Is clarifying all of this. So you've been in that Five of Swords, Seven of Swords energy. But, Leo, look what we've got here. We've got strength. In November, you return to your strength after what has been a really tough 
time, heartbreak, loss, the ending of a situation. Um, but here we've got the Eight of Wands. So you may still be processing that Three of Swords energy. But it is time to go back to the drawing board to review and move on to the next plan. The Five of Pentacles, yes, loss. Three of Wands, though, and the full card. This is the energy you're moving into. New starts. Fire. Look at this Three of Wands. Oh, and the Eight of Wands. <laughs> and the Two of Wands. And the full card. New starts. It's time. It's time to get going again, Leo. After whatever it was that laid you up. It's time to move forward again. Okay, let's pull from the journey of love and see what card we need to look at for you. For Leo. For Leo in the month of November. What is the message you want to bring forward for Leo in the month of November? Oh, woman of light. Oh, okay, intuition intuition did the high priestess did that turn up for you in the home no it didn't it was the seven of swords you really need so that you don't get set back again in a similar way you need to use your intuition the woman of light let's just take a bit of a read Forty nine. Some really nice cards, I think, coming forward for you, Leo, in November. I think you're going to get out of whatever this situation is that sent you for a bit of a, I don't know, spin. Uh, now, this oracle brings you guidance that you are to be the witness to the presence of an awakened being, either within your own self or as part of your spiritual destiny or in the form of a beloved other. Uh, as awakened one is in your midst or soon will be received the blessing that emanates from such a being for to behold one is a gracious spiritual gift that will lift you to the next level of your path pathway forward this is around using your own intuition this is around light field events people coming into your life this is about leaving <laughs> leaving the i don't know leaving the darkness behind we have the sacred convergence and the towering man man magnificence so out of the void into the light that's where you're heading leo in november all right this is another plan may have even been better than the first plan all right, Leo, keep smiling. You've got the sun there. You've got the strength card. You pulled your two cards, two weeks to a little bit longer, maybe. Things are, are improving. Uh, be patient. Something new is coming your way. Bye for now.